In literacy today, we're going to read a new fairy tale. So let's go over our DLO, our daily learning objective. Today I will identify characters and setting. Identifies, it means to like tell us what you see. So if you say I identify, um, the character is Little Red Riding Hood. That's the book we're, uh, a version that we're going to do today. So you'll just, you'll recognize it and you'll tell me what it is. Characters. Characters are the people, animals, and creatures in a story. Setting. The setting is where and when a story takes place. The story we're reading today is one of my favorite versions of Little Red Riding Hood. So if you've ever heard of Little Red Riding Hood, it's about a little girl and she's going to visit her little granny in the woods because she's not feeling well. And along the way, she meets the big bad wolf. The big bad wolf gets to granny's house and in some versions he gobbles the granny up. In other versions, he locks her in the closet and he puts her clothes on and Little Red Riding Hood comes in and, and she goes, oh, Grandma, what big eyes you have. And he says, the better to see you with. And um, So that's a Little Red Riding Hood, a little girl, and a big bad wolf, just like in Three Little Pigs, wolves. So you'll see a theme in fairy tales that wolves are, wolves are not good. Um, but this is a version of Little Red Riding Hood. It's one of my favorite books. It's called Little Red Cowboy Hat, and it's by Susan Lowell. She's one of my favorite authors. I have a few of her books, and Miss Dennison will be reading The Three Little Javelinas, which is another interpretation of The Three Little Pigs and its Javelinas. So a lot of Susan Lowell's books are take place in the Southwest. So this is Little Red Cowboy Hat by Susan Lowell. Here's the front cover, back cover, I have my spine keeps the book together, and my title is up here. It's usually big. So she's a cowgirl, Little Red, cow, little red Cowboy Hat, and she's got her lasso around the title. Here's a nice page. It's of the desert. So right away I can tell the setting will be in the desert. I can tell that because I see snakes and I see tortoises and rats and cactuses. Here's the title again. This is called the title page. Little Red Cowboy Hat by Susan Lowell. Once upon a ranch far away in the wilds of the west there lived a little girl with red red hair. Her hair was a fine color, somewhere between firecrackers and new pennies. And to top it off, her grandmother gave her a bright red cowboy hat. So everybody called her Little Red Cowboy Hat, or Little Red for short. One day her mother said, Little Red, your grandma's sick in bed. Ride over there and take her some of this loaf of homemade bread and a jar of cactus jelly. Yes, ma'am, said Little Red, who loved to visit her grandmother. Don't dilly-dally along the way, warned her mother. No, ma'am, said Little Red. And be careful, her mother said. It's rattlesnake season. Yes, ma'am. Little Red put her cowboy hat on her head and saddled up her buckskin pony. She packed the loaf of bread and a jar of jelly in her saddlebag, and then she set off for her grandmother's ranch several miles away. First, she rode down into a deep canyon. Click, clunk, crunch, went the pony's feet, striking <coughs> sparks from the rocks. Next, she rode up on, onto a wild mesa where gold poppies and blue lupines blossomed in the grass. Grandma loves flowers, thought Little Red. I'll just stop for a minute. As she was picking wildflowers, she heard her pony give a snort. Whoa, Buck, said Little Red, turning around. A snake, she wondered. Who is hiding behind that cactus? So far, our character is Little Red, but there's a new one coming up. Then she saw the wolf. Howdy, little girl, he said. He wore a cowboy hat three shades blacker than a locomotive. Hi, she said. The wolf stood between her and the pony. 
She didn't want to talk to him, but she'd been raised to be polite. What's your name, honey? he asked. He came closer than she liked. Little red cowboy hat, she answered reluctantly. She'd always been raised to tell the truth. Red, said the wolf. A creepy feeling ran up her backbone and tingled in the roots of her hair. Red as in ketchup, he asked, or red as in blood? She didn't answer. She was much too close. He was much too close. She could count the teeth in his smile. Where are you going, sugar, he said. Why not take a little ride with me? Uh-oh. Would you go for a ride with that wolf? So we have two characters, Little Red and the wolf. What's the setting? Where are they at? Look at the picture. They're outside. It looks like it's daytime, and they're in the desert. Just then, the pony whinnied and reared. Whoa, Buck! cried Little Red. The wolf leaped away from Buck's hard hooves, and Little Red seized the reins and jumped safely into the saddle. To Grandma's house, she shouted as she galloped away. When Little Red reached her grandmother's ranch, she didn't hear a sound except the windmill creaking. The chickens didn't even cluck. Usually Grandma was outside, doctoring a cow or mixing cement. But now nothing moved except three buzzards circling high up in the sky. Poor Grandma, thought Little Red. She tied Buck to the hitching post and tippy-toed into the ranch house. It was as quiet as a tree full of owls. Grandma? She called softly. So now she's at the grandma's ranch. And if you look carefully down here on the, um, the doormat, it says, no wolves allowed. She saw a big lump in her grandmother's bed. The lacy edge of grandma's shower cap peeked out above the patchwork quilt. I brought you some bread and jelly, grandma, said little red. Thank you, honey bun, said a muffled voice. Thump. That was the, what was that noise outside, Little Red stiffened. Excuse me, something was wrong. Grandma, she said, is that you? Of course it is, sweetie. I can't see you, said Little Red suspiciously. The lump moved. Deep down in the bedclothes, a strange dark eye glittered. Shoot, thought Little Red, Grandma must be really sick. What big eyes you have, Grandma, she said. The better to see you with, Pumpkin, said the voice. Thump came the noise outside again. Does that look like a Grandma under the covers? Who do you think it is? The quilt fell away from a huge, hairy muzzle. Now, Little Red Cowboy Hat knew perfectly well this was not her grandmother. But where was Grandma? She decided to string the wolf along until she found out. So she went on bravely. What a big nose you have, Grandma. The better to smell you with, Dumplin', said the figure in the bed. Thump, thump. And what sharp teeth you have, Grandma. The better to eat you with, Angel Pie. And the wolf sat bolt upright and grabbed Little Red Cowboy Hat. Thump, thump, thump. Ow, she screamed. Quiet, you delicious morsel, he snarled, licking his chops. What are his chops? He's licking his chops. His lips. What does he want to do if he's licking his lips? He wants to eat her. Uh-oh. Oh, no, you don't, yelled a familiar voice. Get your paws off her, you varmint. And there was little red cowboy hat's grandma with an axe in hand. 
She had been chopping wood. The wolf dropped Little Red like a hot potato and made a break for the window. Are you all right, Red? called Grandma. Yes, ma'am. The wolf tripped over his nightgown, and then he got stuck in the window. His tail waved helplessly behind him. Meanwhile, Grandma snatched her shotgun from the mantle. Pow! Take that, you low-life lobo, she shouted. Come on, Red! Little Red leaped onto Buck and twirled her lasso. Together, they chased the wolf down the road. Tut, 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 cried the chickens. Moo, moo, called the cattle. Breaking into my house, puffed Grandma. Pow! Wearing my clothes? Kablam! Getting fleas in my bed? Pow! Bam! Messing with my granddaughter? Swish! Boom! Don't look mighty good as a... Oh, you'd look mighty good as a rug, Mr. Wolf. Splat! Later back at the ranch, Little Red Cowboy Hat and her grandma sat down to eat their bread and cactus jelly. Now, Red, have you learned your lesson? asked Grandma. Yep, a girl's got to stick up for herself, said Little Red. Her windblown hair glowed in the light of the setting sun. It was a fine color somewhere between autumn leaves and chili peppers, and Grandma smiled as she smoothed it down. That yellow-bellied, snake-blooded, skunk-eyed, rancid son of a parallelogram, she said. This time he picked the wrong grandma. Then they never had any wolf trouble around her ranch again. The end. So the characters in the story were... The little red cowgirl, cowboy hat. The wolf. And the grandma. Those were the characters that were in the book that were the most important ones. I hope you like that story. That one is my favorite version of Little Red Riding Hood, and I really like Susan Wolf. Don't forget to read your stories at home and look for characters and settings in your book.